Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series with me. My name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Sam Thiara. Hi Sam, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, and how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for being here. Through his timeless work, Sam continues to be committed to the betterment of communities, educator and storyteller. In 2016, Sam received the Governor General Sovereignty Volunteer Medal, uh, as well as in 2016, he received the Queen Diamond Jubilee Medal and the Rick Hands Difference Maker Medallion. Over the last 20 years, he has helped and supported 45 plus nonprofit organization from establishing a strategic vision to engaging, uh, st engaging stakeholders to rolling up his sleeves and doing whatever is needed. As a writer and blogger, Sam published his book, Personal Story Storytelling, Discover the Extraordinary Life in the Ordinary, to help others share their stories. And finally, his purpose is to help individuals and careers. Uh, that's why he established, uh, he co-founded Grants One, which recently merged with Leagues of Innovators. So Sam, career of more than 45 years, I'm, I'm sure you have seen a lot of up and downs. I'm sure you had a lot of struggles. So my first question for you is, can you tell us about your entrepreneurship journey, what you discovered, how, how you overcome uh, obstacles, and what are you celebrating these days? Great. No, so I think what uh, <clears throat> I would say is the fact that uh, my life started out in the very traditional way of completing university, going through, and then establishing myself eventually, getting a job. Everything was comfortable. And I found that uh, working in a crown corporation, comfort wasn't necessarily a word that resonated with me anymore because I had stopped growing as an individual. So about 14, no, about, uh, sorry, 20 years ago, I uh, took a plunge and I took a voluntary separation from the Crown Corporation and then went on a journey and had many exciting adventures of working on the Olympic Bid Committee, uh, teaching at Simon Fraser University, building out student engagement, building out my own business with Ignite the Dream and uh, becoming an author, have two books out. All of these allowed me the flexibility and attitude to move forward. And what I realized is the fact that I actually thrive in mm. ambiguity and uncertainty. Mm. Like those, it scares some people and not to say that it, it means I'm different, but for me, ambiguity and uncertainty is where the magic happens. Mm. But equally at the same time, uh, I found I don't thrive in comfort. Mm. Yeah. And, at, and as a result of that, I mean, that's where I started out Gratis One as a nonprofit to help high school post-secondaries. I co-founded that. We saw a gap and a need in the community. Yes. And we built it. Yeah. And in your career, I'm sure you had a lot of ob uh, obstacles. So how do you overcome them? Well, overcoming the obstacles. I think uh, it's always easy to dwell on the problem, but I don't dwell on problems. Embedded in a problem is an opportunity to emerge into a solution. So I think when I look at a situation, again, that's why I said I thrive in ambiguity and uncertainty, is I love the challenge. Like the, the latest book I wrote, for example, is about my journey to find my ancestral roots. I only had a photograph, very little information, but it was also a journey to find myself. So again, I'm glad it wasn't easy. I'm glad that there was this... Uh, this need to search. So overcoming obstacles, I think, is a mindset where don't fear the obstacle. In fact, obstacles are the necessary bricks in our road to success. You need to confront those obstacles and be able to then overcome it and not be afraid of them. Yeah. Thank you for that, Sam, and thank you for sharing your story with us. And for the audience watching for the first time, so my interview is uh, over a period of time. I'll ask Sam a uh, questions and each questions will be posted on daily basis so you can watch each, each video if you like them you can share you can subscribe to the channel and tune in next time for another question with Sam.